Can plastic ever truly be environmentally friendly? Is it biodegradable? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, thank you for watching D News Today. I'm Trace. Plastic is one of the most versatile materials in the world. It's everywhere in every part of world society. The problem is plastics are not natural. Soda bottles and containers are commonly made of polyethylene terephthalate or PET plastic. A bottle of soda is designed to be used once and then thrown away, but it takes hundreds of years for plastic bottles to degrade. Not biodegrade, mind you, just degrade. Bacteria do not digest plastic in the environment. Instead, the plastic degrades under UV radiation usually or ocean punishment, and the pieces get smaller and smaller until they become invisible, but are still there, part of our environment forever. Biodegradable plastics are the plastic industry's way of trying to remedy the pollution problem. But unfortunately for us, the term biodegradable it's kind of convolutedly complex. According to the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, there are three ways that something can biodegrade. Primary, chemical alteration of the property of the substance in general. Environmentally acceptable, which is biodegradation of the undesirable properties of that compound. And ultimate, which is the complete breakdown of a compound into either fully oxidized or reduced simple molecules, like water, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrates, etc. They note that some of these things can actually be more harmful to the environment than the plastic would have been itself. Knowing all this, biodegradable plastic is a petrochemical created plastic, where they add things to that container which is supposed to help them break down in the presence of certain bacteria. There's also bioplastic, which isn't confusing at all, right? And that's made primarily from corn into a substance called polylactide acid, or PLA. This corn-based bioplastic needs a very specific cocktail of bacteria, heat, and temperature to break down. So in a landfill, it doesn't do that. Instead, a special facility is required, and as of 2009, there were only 42 commercial composting facilities in the U.S. which could process these so-called biodegradable plastics. On the other hand, photodegradable or oxydegradable plastics, which are those other kind, use light oxygen, moisture, and heat to decay rapidly, sometimes leaving a toxic residue. Not so great. In a landfill where oxygen is scarce, they will sometimes break down into methane gas, adding more greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Studies have shown the additives to plastics which make them biodegradable are pretty much bunk anyway. The FTC is involved now, and in fact, a Michigan State University study from last month found there was absolutely no difference in the additive-treated plastic bags and bottles versus simply regular plastics in a landfill. Plastic is simply not a natural substance. Apparently, more research is needed for plastics to be truly biodegradable. Fortunately, that research is ongoing. This doesn't mean that all containers are bad. There are plenty of plant and fiber-based containers on the market which aren't just biodegradable, but can even be actually composted. And yes, of course, recycling and reduction of your trash is always a viable option. So reduce, reuse, and recycle, peeps. Another way to cut your environmental impact is by driving the right vehicle. The new Toyota Mirai is looking to the future with sustainability in mind. It's fueled by hydrogen and it leaves zero emissions behind. You could also try switching from plastic bags to paper on your trips to the grocery store. Paper comes from trees, but is that bad for the environment? Luckily, this thoroughly handsome devil took us on a science ride to find out which impacts the environment more, paper or plastic. Paper bags do biodegrade, unlike plastic bags, but they're 10 times heavier, and they take up more space in city landfills. Reusable bags are often made in China and then shipped here. Thank you for watching D News, everyone. I'm Trace. Y'all are great.